to trucks, you can run those left side tires down below that yellow line and help these trucks. <laughs> Guys, there's side-by-side -side battles all over the Oh, oh big problems here as the 33 of Jones spins around and collects a couple, including the nine truck of William Byron. And the k and Pro Series East champ is already into the wall here tonight. I think maybe William in the nine and Brandon Jones in the third. Oh, my God. The left rear. Watch, watch Brandon Jones now. Go through the dog led. Looked like, looked like Brandon maybe thought he was clear. William, William still had his nose up in there. They made contact and it turned the 33 around. Also, like Cole Custer in there as well in the double zero. Yeah, I think pretty significant damage to him too. See the big contact into the right side, and then he clips Byron. I think William just felt like he had the the space the space to run on the outside of Brandon Jones, and Jones went up like he wasn't there. Yeah, I don't think William had any idea that Brandon Jones was going to move up the racetrack. Gets into the double zero Cole Custer. That turns him back into William, or actually avoids William, but then Cole Custer, with nowhere to go, makes contact with William. Watch the job Timothy Peters does here. The veteran just working it, oh, so close to the inside and avoiding contact with the 33. Take a look from the eight truck here. John Hunter, need a check. Clear. William was out against the outside wall. Look at John Hunter. He dunked. It was, too. Oh, problems on the front straightaway as the 08 truck spins across the line, and Corbin Forster brings out the second caution of the night. Kilt machine came around, but it looks like, guys, he got a little bit of help. Looks like the 94 of Timmy Hill got into the back of Corbin Forster and turned around right at the start finish line. Corbin did a nice job keeping that truck out of the outside. Well, he may have just touched it right there, but just barely. But he had two flat tires. And he was not happy with Timmy Hill and flings his Hans device why, at him. Why do you think side of Eric Jones? Oh, he's got a spin. Yes, we do. And we're going to pile oh. it in, including Rico Abreu in the 31. The orange cone is involved as well. And this one, that's the second time in two weeks somebody's taken out the orange cone in the process. Man, that's a shame for Jumbo. Let's see if we can take a look at what happened to start this. Ooh, the 15 of Mason Mingus looked like he locked his brakes up, got into the five of Dalton Sargent and Rico. Ben Kennedy also with a lot of damage in the 11. Nowhere to go. And look just to the inside slip Daniel Suarez. You can see the orange truck just ahead. Wow. Crafted all the way below the yellow line. Where does he come back up? Right alongside. Oh, oh problems. We've got the 63 up into the wall. Oh, got his Six laps to go. Watch this pass right here. Jones was racing hard with Suarez on the outside. And it looks like he had to either lift or break a little bit here. As Suarez started to come down a little bit, and that's what kind of helps as the 88 gets by right here. I think Jones just gave Crafton room because I think he said, Matt's coming in there whether I leave him room or not. And that was probably a wise decision. It's really kind of a staggering stat is that these are the first laps as we watch Pardo losing it here again. These are the first laps Crafton's ever led. They're together. Oh, they're together. together. And there goes Sauter. Oh, man. Huge implications. It looks like Aaron jo Eric Jones may be able to survive that contact. You can just see right there the truck was up the hill. Jones had to make the corner. And then he slides down and takes out his teammate as well. You know, Eric Jones made a little more severe contact with the outside wall than I initially thought. Looks like he, he bopped it pretty good. It's just so hard to keep your truck on the bottom. And this is hard racing here. There's absolutely no intent whatsoever, but you can see how hard that four hit, got into that outside wall and how hard that Matt Crafton and Johnny Sauter got together. And we, you know, we're, we're going to have a great race to the checkered here. you got Timothy Peters. We've talked about how solid that truck is. You see him there in the fourth spot as they exit turn four here. But when these two, these three trucks crash, he's going to inherit the lead. 
I'm telling you, a lot more contact with the outside wall for Eric Jones. It was a much harder hit than it initially looked like, wasn't it? Yeah, he really popped the wall pretty good. You got Peters, and then behind Peters is John Hunter Nemechek. We've seen that truck really strong down on the apron in turn three and four. He's going to be serious about trying to get this win. Hey, it's anybody's race right now. That just, that just wide open right now. We may get to victory lane. See that left front. Right along and listen. stay off Eric Jones and certainly no intent whatsoever just hard racing he knew that if he lost that lead he probably lost the race and the championship and the championship see this is this is the shot we showed a little while ago oh that's a big hit entering the dog leg you're a, a long way from the wall, and that dog leg, the way the wall is shaped, that was an exceptionally hard hit. Thank goodness. You have to look at perhaps, here it is a real speed, a big impact right there, a, a tough angle. You'd expect to be looking at a mechanical problem. The reason for the caution, Jeremy Clements, right front tire goes down, and into the wall he goes. Ricky Stenhouse on the inside of him. They just make contact, get into turn three. Heavy contact for both cars. Hard into the outside wall for both drivers. 